tonight, we're going to be smoking a little chicken tonight. What kind of chicken you say? <laughs> we're going to be smoking some drunk chicken. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all hang on. Y'all, tonight, we are doing review number two of this Black-Owned Cigar Review series. So, tonight, I got, let me go ahead and take it out the cello. Tonight, we will be reviewing the DCO by Drunk Chicken. Which this stands for the Drunk Chicken Cigars Original. Guys, my cigar is cracked. <coughs> my cigar is cracked. I don't know if y'all can see it right here. It's cracked, and you see where the wrapper is starting to lift. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. We're going to try to smoke it and see what happens. I'm going to try to. Try to use a little, a little spit here to lay that wrapper down. We're going to see. We're going to see. Hopefully, it's just the outside wrapper that's, 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 uh, that's torn apart. We're going to see. Um, oh, man, guys. This is the first time I've ever had to deal with anything like this. All right, guys. Now, this particular cigar that I'll be smoking tonight. Now, this is the Gordo. This is the six by sixty. That's exactly what this is. Um, this is pretty much right around my my ring gauge. Uh, this is the type of cigar that I like to smoke. Hopefully, this turns out well because this crack. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bad boy cut up. Yeah, uh, yeah. We let's go ahead and get this bad boy cut up, man. Cold draw is pretty loose, so the smell on this cigar is it just it's just a hint of sweet tobacco. That's all I'm getting. Well, no, uh, sweet tobacco with um, with a slight hint of cocoa. It's not it's it's not a pungent aroma it's not really strong at all not a strong aroma all right um all right guys let's go ahead and get this bad boy lit we about to get lit hopefully this turns out well eesh uh ah Now, immediately from light up, I get a slight burst of a little pepper zing with a charcoal taste. Mm. Nice woody, it has a nice woody spice as well. Mm hmm. Starting to get some earth in there. That black pepper. Black pepper. Mm-hmm. 
that's the pepper zing that I feel back there in, in, the, in the tingling in the back of my throat. But it's not harsh. All right. We're going to go ahead and let this bad boy heat on up. And I'll be back. Y'all hang on. Um, Besides the rapper tearing on me, it's smoking. It, like The cigar is smoking pretty good. So um, I, it's just... I really just hate that. Sometimes sometimes you'll get a cigar with a crack in. That's why you always check your cigars when you get them. Always check your cigars. Me, I didn't do that. Um, I, I just checked one or two, and they, they looked fine, and then I just thought the rest of them were fine. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 really, I really, really hate this because I'm, I'm really hoping that it doesn't mess up the rest of the cigar. Um, by the looks of it, it seems like it's just the top layer of the leaf, just the very top layer that's that's torn, but um, can't really tell. So it's kind of throwing me off a little bit, guys. So um, other than that, I mean, it's smoking pretty good, um, decent draw, minimal resistance. Um, it's really not bad. So if I have any more, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, guys, and we're about 12 minutes in with this Drunk Chickens DCO. I had to take the wrapper off a little bit because it was starting to burn crazy on me. But other than that, the flavors are very smooth. Retro Hell is very smooth on this cigar. Um, despite the wrapper, um, I don't, you know, even though that, that really bothered me with the, with the wrapper, but... Um, this cigar is smoking really, really good. I like the flavor on it. Uh, that earthiness is that earthy tone is starting to pick up. Um, that black pepper, that black pepper is um, is very smooth. It's, it's like it's it's not it's not it's not harsh. It's the, like it gives you that little zing, but it's not it's 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 nothing that'll make you cough or anything like that. All right. We're going to get into this first third, get into the second third, and I'll be back. Y'all hang on. All right, Cigar Heads, and we are back with the Drunk Chicken DCO in Gordo. <laughs> All right, now, i tell you what. The construction on this cigar is amazing. The flavors are really, really good. The cigar, even though the wrapper messed up on me, the cigar still holds good flavor. Very good flavor, very good construction. Um, that pepper zing is starting to pick up. The earthiness is starting to pick up in this cigar as I'm getting into the second third. I'm about to get ready to move the band. So this is very, very good. I, I really, I love the flavors in this cigar. I love the spice that's in it. I, I, I love it. Um, so we're going to see. How, how the rest of it smokes because it's starting to it started to burn a little fast on me but it's okay it started to slow down start to catch up with itself a little bit so i'm very impressed with that so all right y'all hang on you're gonna see how this ends up y'all hang on all right cigar heads we are back with the junk chicken dco the ass just fell in a nice solid chunk as i was removing the band so that's okay um the pepper zing is really, really picked up. It is most definitely a Mike Tyson right hook to the nose. It really is. That retro hell, that retro hell. <laughs> the flavors in this cigar, it makes itself known. That black pepper, it is completely gone way up. But it's still very, very good. All right, cigar heads. Now, as I am getting close to the final third of this cigar, throughout this second third, nothing but pepper. Until now, that earthiness is starting to pick up. It's like a, it's like a constant battle between pepper and earthiness. Creamy smoke, nice creamy smoke. But the flavor intensity on that pepper and the earthiness has really really picked up and it's continuing to go up and up and up and up so this cigar honestly it's hitting my palate the way that i want it to i i like i like a, a nice peppery creamy 
type of cigar. Not too keen on the earthiness, but it's okay. But that pepperness, that pepperness. <laughs> but the peppery note that I'm getting as it's starting to pick up is not too much for me, but it may be too much for you. So all in all, I like it. So we're gonna see how this last third gets, but I can already tell it's gonna pick up even more. So y'all hang tight. All right, cigar heads, we are back with the final third of this drunk chicken DCO. Nothing but pepper and earthiness. That's all you get. I'm not getting any other note. The smoke is still creamy and that's really good. The construction is amazing on this cigar. This cigar has totally, totally redeemed itself from, from light up. Um, at first I wasn't so sure because of the type of like, because of the, the, the tear in the wrapper. So I didn't know how it was gonna smoke. So it's totally redeemed itself. And this cigar gets two thumbs up for me. So y'all already know what that means. This cigar is Cigar Head Certified. So, the Retro Hill is good, it's mellowed out this last third. At first, it was just hitting me right in the nose. It, 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 was, it was punching me, literally. And um, now, in the final third with this cigar, it has totally mellowed out. Mellowed, mellowed out. But, I love this cigar. I don't recommend it for the beginner. This is not a cigar that I would recommend for you guys at all. But if that's something that you want to try, go ahead. Now, this cigar came in, it came in the five pack. This is the five pack sampler. So if you guys want to try it out, go ahead. I recommend it for sure. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish the rest of this last third of this cigar. In the meantime, you guys like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you know when the next video comes out. And y'all stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoky. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.